the very presence of an embassy of Israel in Kigali means that we are ready to take our relationship into a different stage. This stage depends primarily on this energy and the degree of interest that existing between the two countries. Given the fact that the two leaders, yours and ours, President Kagame and Prime Minister Netanyahu, uh, feel very comfortable uh, strategically, economically, and politically, I guess that you're going to see an enhancement of the relationship uh, to a new level. I think you're going to see uh, more cooperation, more collaboration in many areas uh, that it's possible. And above all, uh, I do hope that in the very near future, we're also going to have a direct flight from Kigali to Tel Aviv, which I think are critical for the advance of this relationship, not just in the area of tourism, but also in the area of business, which I think are, are the most fundamental element to uh, put this relationship forward. Your country tried to move forward as well economically, and I think that you tried to be a hub of IT in Africa, and given the fact that Israel is a, a powerhouse in high tech, I think there is a room uh, and a great potential for cooperation uh, and collaboration between your countries and our countries. If you talk about technology, about science, about innovation, about creativity, about entrepreneurship, you will not find a better friend than Israel for Rwanda. And I think we are ready for this stage. So if you're going to move into the next stage economically in terms of moving from agricultural oriented country into more IT oriented country, I think we have a lot to do in common. One way when you can measure degree of cooperation is to see if direct flights were established between two countries. And I know that there is a great desire on your end to have a direct flight of your own national air carrier from Kigali to Tel Aviv. If that's going to take place, which I hopefully believe is going to take place sooner rather than later, I think you're going to see a significant increase of number of tourism and above all business people traveling from Tel Aviv to Kigali uh, three or four times a week. That's going to change completely the landscape of our relationship. And I do hope that this will be the great measure of advancement of this relationship. Everyone who uh, has stepped over here, uh, all the Israeli business people, uh, people from our own ministry, talk about Kigali in a, different, in a different way, in a different tone, in a different language. And for me, it's the first time I'm here. And you're going to hear it if you cover the opening of the embassy in about one hour from now. I'm going to relate exactly to that line. It's like extending and expanding our family to Africa. The fact that we are open, opening an embassy over here, this is the story. And that's the reason why our foreign aid agency, Mashab, uh, opens today the biggest ever project of the Israeli foreign agency uh, element in any other country. Rwanda will be, have the biggest ever project of Israel, uh, and that's going to be in the area of agriculture. It will be center of excellence if you want to succeed in agriculture, excellent and excellence is the words that you need for promoting your country in this regard. When we stated that Israel is going to be back to Africa and Africa is going to be back to Israel, we meant that we are going to have a far more relationship with as many countries as we can in Africa. But the cherry on the cake is Rwanda. And that's the reason why it was very important to us to establish an embassy here in Rwanda. There was no residence of Israelis here diplomatically since 19, 1973. Mm -hmm. So it's almost 50 years. And we have, it maybe took us too long, but now we are going to try to catch up the time. And we are going to give, I think, a very different I would say, momentum to this relationship. And the fact that we have already had a presence of an ambassador here means a great deal for this relationship.